five boys' names and two girls' names are placed in a hat. Two names are chosen from the hat without replacement, and we're going to assume those names are chosen at random from the hat. Calculate the probability that A, two boys' names are chosen, B, two girls' names are chosen, C, at least one boy's name is chosen. So first of all, let's look at this term without replacement. Uh, this is a, a fancy term and all it means is that once we take the first name out of the hat, we leave that name outside of the hat when we go in to pick the second name. In other words, we don't pick a name out of the hat, put it back in the hat and then pick the second, you know, a second name. Uh, if, if we had with replacement here instead of without replacement, there's the possibility that we might get the same name twice, but we're making sure that we don't, we don't get the same name twice by saying without replacement. Okay, so how do we figure out this problem? Well, let's look first at A. What's the probability that two boys' names are chosen? Let's, let's draw a hat. Imagine that we have a hat that looks sort of like this. And imagine in that hat we have five boys' names. Let's do the boys' names in, in green. Boy, 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 and one more boy. And also in red we have two girls' names. Girl and a girl. And we want to calculate the probability that we have two boys. Two boys' names are chosen. So the product rule says that the, the probability that two boys are chosen, well, that's going to be the probability that a boy is chosen on the first draw multiplied by the probability that a boy is chosen on the second draw. So let's figure out that first probability. So the probability that a boy is chosen on this first draw. So there are, there are seven names altogether and five of them are boys. So the probability that a boy is drawn in the first draw is five over seven. That's not very difficult. And that's going to be multiplied by the probability that a boy is drawn on the second draw. Well, if you draw a boy on the first draw, suddenly we're not going to have, we're going to have one of these boys names is no longer going to be in there. And that's going to affect the probability that a second boy is chosen. So this is a dependent probability problem. So here we, we've got rid of one boy's name, we've already drawn one out. Now we have six names and four of them are boys. So the probability that we get a boy's name on the second draw is four over six. Well, four over six is the same as two over three. So we can write this as five over seven times two over three. And if we multiply through, we're going to get 10 over 21. So the probability that two boys are chosen, boy, boy, is 10 over 21. Let's have a look at this second problem. Imagine, we find the probability that two girls' names are chosen. Well, let's draw our hat again. So we're going to draw our crude hat. And again, we're going to have five boys, five boys in green and two girls in red. And we're going to find the probability of two girls. So probability of girl and then another girl girl's name being chosen. So the probability, if we have these uh, these names, what's the probability that a girl is chosen? Well, there are seven names all up and two of them are girls' names. So that's going to be two over seven. That's going to be the probability that uh, a girl is chosen on the first try, and we need to multiply that by the probability that a girl is chosen on the second try. So here, once we've chosen one's girl's, a girl's name on the first try, we're going to have removed one girl's name from the hat which means that on the second try, there are going to be six names left in the hat and only one of them is a girl. So on the second draw, the probability that we get a girl, girl's name is one over six. If we multiply through, we get two over 42. And if we divide both the numerator and the denominator by two, we get one over 21 in its most simplified form. So the probability that two girls' names are chosen is one over 21. This part C says, find the probability that at least one boy's name is chosen. So this is one of these questions where it's good to, to think about the complement. So if at least one boy's name is chosen, we know that uh, that's, that's the same as saying that um, two girls' names are not chosen. So we can say that uh, one boy's name, name chosen, it's chosen. That's equivalent to saying that um, it's not the case. So it's not that 
two girls. Names are chosen. Are chosen. And this is this is very useful for determining this probability. What this means is that uh, at least at least one boy's name is chosen. That's the probability of at least one boy. At least one boy's name is going to be one minus the probability that two girls are chosen. This has got to do with the complement that we've covered before. So the complement of at least one boy's name being chosen, the complement of that event is that two girls' names are chosen. Well, we've already figured out the, the probability that two girls' names are chosen. That's 1 over 21. So we can rewrite this as 1 minus 1 over 21. If we multiply 1 is the same as 1 over 1, or we could also write it as 21 over 21. So it would be useful to do that here. So we could write this as 21 over 21 minus 1 over 21, such that these two numbers both now are expressed as fractions with the same denominator. And if we if we just uh, if we just subtract through here, we get 20. 21 minus 1 is 20, so we get 20 over 21. So the probability that at least one boy's name is chosen, that's the same as the probability of that uh, that that not that two girls' names are chosen. And that probability is expressed as 1 minus the probability that two girls are chosen, which is 20 over 21. And we're done.